What's up YouTube friends? Now one of the things I like the least about doing YouTube videos is editing. It's long, it's tedious, and it's boring. Now whenever the weather changes, my wrists hurt like crazy. So editing can be a pain, literally. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this keyboard and this mouse wrist rest. They're very simple to make, very easy, and I'll show you how to make them next. So the things you're going to need to make this keyboard and mouse wrist rest are For the keyboard rest you'll need two pieces of fabric that measure 4 inches wide by the length of your keyboard plus 1 inch. When I measured my laptop it was 16 and a half inches long so I went ahead and cut these 17 and a half inches. For the mouse rest you'll need two pieces of fabric that measure 8 inches by 6 inches. You're also going to need some dry rice the mouse rest template which I'll provide down below. You also need your sewing machine with matching thread. Today I'll just be using white and your iron and ironing board. I'll also be using my pinking shears and a friction pin. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is the keyboard rest because it's the easiest. So all you need to do is take your two pieces of fabric. I'm going to lay them right sides together and with a quarter inch seam allowance I'm going to sew down one side, across the bottom, and back up to the top. Back stitching at the beginning and the end, and we're going to leave this part open. And just so nothing moves, I'm going to throw in a couple pins. Alright guys, so today I'll be using a straight stitch in my length at 2.5. So I'm going to back stitch in the beginning. And with a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm going to sew those three sides. Alright guys, so I'm coming up to my corner. I'm going to stop a quarter inch away with my needle down, raise my presser foot, and spin. And so. Don't forget to backstitch at the end. Alright guys, so I sewed all the way around on the three sides, backstitching at the beginning and the end. And now with my fabric scissors, I'm just going to clip the corners, making sure that I don't go through my threads. Just like that. Next, we're going to flip this right side out. Using my chopstick, I'm going to make sure that my corners are nice and pointy and that my seams are nice and flat. Next, I'm just going to take this over to my ironing board and give it a good press. Now you just want to take this back over to your sewing machine and I'm going to top stitch with an eighth inch seam allowance down those three sides that we sewed previously. Back stitching at the beginning and the end. Alright guys, so I'm using my same length, same straight stitch. This time I'm using an eighth inch seam allowance. And I'm going to top stitch on those three sides. Don't forget to back stitch. So after top stitching all the way around, I back stitch at the beginning and the end. You want to grab your rice, and I went ahead and made a paper funnel. So I'm just going to stick it in the opening and fill it with rice. Now we want this about three quarters full. You want it firm, but not real firm. And we still have to close the top. Alright, so I used about three cups of rice. My rice stops about right here. So I'm going to pack it down a little bit. And 
throw a couple pins right where my rice ends. Just like that. Next, I'm going to fold in my opening about a half inch. Just like that. And throw some more pins. Now finally, I'm going to take this back over to my sewing machine. And with a scant quarter inch or a fat eighth inch seam allowance, I'm going to backstitch at the beginning and sew my opening closed, backstitching at the end. And just that easy, we have a nice wrist rest for our keyboard. Now on to the mouse rest. So you want to take your two pieces of 8 by 6 inch fabric. I'm going to lay them so that the right sides are together. And grab my template. Now using a pencil or a friction pin, I'm going to trace around my template. And then right here at the top, I'm going to make my two lines where my opening is, just so I remember to leave that open. And then I'm just going to pin my two layers together. Next, I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to start right here at this pin, and I'm going to sew a quarter inch in from my line, all the way around, backstitching at the beginning and the end. All right, so I'm still using that straight stitch. The length is still 2.5, and my line is right at the edge of my presser foot. Now I'm gonna back stitch, and just keep sewing. Coming up here to my final pin, so don't forget to backstitch. Alright, so I sewed all the way around, leaving my opening open. And now with my pinking shears, I'm going to go ahead and clip all the way around, but I'm not going to clip where my opening is. So now you just want to turn this right side out. And with my trusty chopstick, I'm just going to make sure everything is laying nice and flat. Alright guys, so where our opening is, you just kind of want to just give it a little tug. And it should fall right into place and give this a good press. So just like before, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to top stitch with an eighth inch seam allowance all the way around, but I'm going to start at the beginning of my opening and back stitch and end at the end of my opening, leaving this part unstitched at this point. So everything's the same, same length, same stitch. Don't forget to back stitch. And just keep sewing.
So now you just want to fill it with rice. Alright guys, so I put about a cup and a half of rice in here. So I'm just going to put a pin down along here just to make sure my rice is out of my way. And then I'm going to take this back over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew my little opening closed. And like always, don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the end. Now just that fast, our wrist rests are ready. Now I probably could have put about a quarter cup more rice in this one, but you really want to make sure you have enough room up here at the top to get that closed. And I have the perfect matching set with my new mouse pad and my wrist rests. Now this is the perfect gift for gamers. They spend a lot of time using the mouse and the keyboard, any office worker, or just anybody that spends a lot of time at your computer. And that's just about all of us these days. I hope you give this project a try. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified as to when I post a video, hit that bell notification button. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would like to leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. Head on over to Scrappy's Patch on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon if you'd like to friend me there. And as always, thanks for watching, happy web surfing, and I'll see you next time.